This is Boxing Ticket to NI. We're here at the Red, Red Cow, or the warehouse at the Red Cow in Dublin. Today we're joined with Victoria Associate Tracy. When you, I guess, when sort of congratulations first and foremost, when you sort of pictured your your professional debut, how did it how did it rank out of ten for you? Not. Uh, listen, that fella, he was tough. Like that's not an ordinary debut for you. He was two and out with two knockouts. Um, I didn't underestimate him, but he, he was hard to hit. He hit very hard himself, and he, he was gamey. He knew what he was at. Great head movement, and uh, I'm just delighted to get the win. Was it good for you, the fact that obviously you knew you had to be switched on for your debut, knowing you're coming in against an opponent that was 2-0 with two, two knockouts? Does that sort of... You don't really want to make a sort of statement, I guess, in your debut, obviously, with everything else that's going on, but... For you, you had to be making sure you were switched on. You weren't getting a journeyman. It was just coming there to survive. You knew you had to be on point straight away from the first bell. Yeah, well, as I said to Jay, I didn't want to hit someone and he'd curl up in the ball. You could see the crowd out there. That was an entertaining fight. I'm not saying you go out and have a fight like that all the time. It's obviously not good for you, but I, that was a learning curve for me. It was my first one. I'm going to go home now, watch the fight, and we, we can find you on things. Be better for the next one. Will you, when you go home, will you be critical of yourself, or obviously will you just understand it? I guess the nerves and everything else, and obviously the venue, everybody's close and compact. Mm. Will you be critical? Obviously, when you look at back at the performance, or will you just sort of look at wee things that you need to sort of learn? Ah, listen, I was delighted with that performance. Like, took a few big shots I wasn't expected to take, um, but I also caught him with a few heavy ones. He was a. Uh, he was, he was durable to stay in there after a few shots I caught him, but uh, I'm, I'm delighted, look, it was my debut, I wasn't supposed to get out till February and there's one and on my belt with a game opponent, that's someone you should be fighting maybe four or five fights down the line, but I was happy to take him on my debut. And where would you sort of, would you like to sort of get someone that's going to be a bit more relaxed sort of the next time I can give you a chance to show what you have sort of in the back foot and the front foot, or would you just like to keep it that sort of opponent moving forward? I don't care to be honest with you. As I said in the last interview, I'll fight anyone. Uh, it's up to me, Dan, Jay, to say, listen, take a step back or relax a bit. But anyone who shows me, I'm going to say, yeah, no matter what. The, obviously, the buzz it gets with that as well. Obviously, you've now that adrenaline rush. You're obviously going to come down from that adrenaline rush. And this could be a case of obviously getting back out in another fight. When would you obviously like to be back out again? As soon as possible. I'd like to get another one in before the Christmas. It'd be nice to get another one in. Um, I'll be back in the gym on Monday anyway and I'll be ready to go whenever. So I'm not just in it to have a fight and go missing for six or seven months. I'm here for the long run and I want to go to the top. So I'm going to keep training. You're definitely, obviously, you have a lot of trades like Eddie. Obviously, just once they get in there, have a fight, doesn't care who it is, what it is, just put the gloves on and let's go for it. Yeah, that, that's not really me. That's not my type of... I'm not, I'm not a brawler. I'm not saying Eddie's a brawler. Eddie's a great boxer and Eddie has power from everywhere. Eddie, Eddie hits his short shots and I've never been hit like it before. But... Uh, I'm usually long, rangy, but that's what I had to do tonight. Obviously, I could have done a few little better things, but it is what it is. I'm delighted to get the win. And what will you do to celebrate this weekend then before you get back into the gym? I see my crowd out there. I'll have to go and uh, spend a bit of time with them. They're all, uh, they're all buzzing for me out there, so can't wait to go out, spend the time with my family, my little brothers out there, and just to walk up the stairs and give him a hug after. Makes me proud as punch. Obviously, hopefully somebody maybe buy you a pint as well. Obviously, now you're a professional boxer to go here. Well done, there's a pint for you. I reckon I deserve one after that anyway. <laughs> well, but listen, thanks very much for your time. Obviously, fingers crossed you can get some fight news soon. I guess the good thing for you, obviously, JB Promotions have six shows scheduled for next year. That's perfect for you just starting off. 100%. Look at that for a show. Like you don't see that in Irish boxing. What a setup from the press conferences to the the weigh-ins to everything. Just tonight, like was amazing. And I'm delighted I could make me debut on something like this and not just not just a sport hall. I have to say a massive thanks to Jay for all this, all the time and effort he's putting into it. Um, massive thanks to me dad. We live together, he trains me, so we're like that. Um, Jimmy Upton, he's my other coach. Um, I've done a lot of sparring with Matthew, Glenn, all the lads on tonight, sparred with Jay, everyone, uh, St. Teresa's Boxing Club, all my sponsors, just want to say a big thanks to everyone because it wouldn't be possible without them. Well, thanks very much for your time, enjoy your celebrations and we'll catch up with you soon. I will do, cheers.